In Isaiah the 14th chapter, verses 29 to 32, here we see a prophecy about Palestine. And God says here in verse 29, Rejoice not thou whole Palestine, because the rod of him that smote thee is broken. So God says, don't rejoice Palestine, because this rod that smote thee is broken. Now who is this rod? It says rod, it could also read scepter. And many biblical commentaries will tell you that the rod is Judah. In Genesis 49, it talks about the scepter shall never depart from Judah. So obviously, this is the house of Judah, the Jews. And in verse 30, it says here, And the firstborn of the poor shall feed, and the needy shall lie down in safety. When you look at Zephaniah, the second chapter, verse 6 through 7, it talks about the house of Judah pouring in to this Gaza Strip, and God says that they will lie down in safety, and they shall be fed. So obviously, this is the house of Judah. Now notice, it says, Rejoice not thou whole Palestine, because the rod of him that smote thee is broken. So God says, don't rejoice, because Judah is broken. So obviously, Judah is going to be broken. To the point where God is going to send an army from the north, verse 31, to come down and save Judah, as we shall see. So he says, Rejoice not. Because the rod of him, that's Judah, that smote thee, and of course Judah has smitten the Palestinian, Palestinians many times. The rod of him that smote thee is broken. Now notice, for out of the serpent's root. Now a serpent is a symbol of an enemy. and You read that in Jeremiah, the 8th chapter, verse 17. It's a symbol of an enemy. And of course Judah is an enemy of the Palestinians. So the serpent's root, talking about Judah, for out of the serpent's root, Judah's root. What is the root of Judah? Well, Israel. The patriarch Israel had 12 sons, 12 tribes of Israel, and this is Judah's root. And then Israel passed his name on to Ephraim and Manasseh. When you read in Genesis, the 48th chapter, Jacob said to Joseph, he crossed his hands to his two grandsons, Ephraim and Manasseh, and he said, Let my name be named on them, Ephraim and Manasseh. So they wear the name Israel. And then he says that Ephraim would become a great multitude of nations, and Manasseh was to emerge as a great single powerful nation. And we have identified them in our book with the United States and Britain in Prophecy as the United States and the British Commonwealth of nations. And when you look at the history of the state of Israel, the state of Israel has their roots in Britain and the United States. So the serpent's root, Judah's root, is Israel, Ephraim and Manasseh, the United States and the British. So he says, for out of the serpent's root, Judah's root, shall come forth a viper, a stronger enemy, a more poisonous enemy. And of course, when you look at the armies of Britain and America, they have a much stronger army than the uh, state of Israel today. So he says, don't rejoice, a stronger army is coming, a viper, and his offspring. Now, when you look at the book of Hosea, specifically Ephraim, it talks about Ephraim and her children, mother Israel. It's talking about the colonies of Ephraim, like Canada and others. It says, the, And his fruit shall be a fiery flying serpent. So the colonies of Britain are going to be in this coalition as well, and they're going to have strong armies. So don't rejoice, Palestine. And then it again talks about the firstborn of the poor shall lie down, and they shall be safe. So Palestine's enemy, which is stronger than Judah, they're going to come in and they're going to save Judah and they're going to be safe. Now notice what God says here. And I will kill thy root with famine, and he, meaning this army from the north, shall slay thy remnant, or, your, or the branches of this root. And, and who is this root? Who funds Hamas? Who gives them money? Who gives them weapons? Hezbollah, same thing. These are all Iranian proxy armies. The root being Iran and the branches being Hamas and Hezbollah. And God says, I will kill your root. 
Iran is going to be destroyed with famine, and he shall slay thy remnant, the branches of Iran. So Iran is going to be taken out of the picture by this king of the north. Now notice verse 31. Howl, O gate, cry, O city, thou whole Palestine, are dissolved, meaning dissolved in fear, because a smoke, it says here, for there shall come from the north, the king of the north, Daniel the 11th chapter, verse 45, the king of the north comes in to Judah to save Judah, shall come from the north a smoke, which is a symbol of a, a huge army, and none shall be alone in his appointed times. And then it says, verse 32, And what shall, what shall one then answer the messengers of the nation? Here the Palestinians are sending ambassadors to this northern army. It says, What then uh, shall answer the messengers of the nation? And then notice what this northern army, how this northern army answers the Palestinians. That the Lord hath founded Zion, and the poor of his people shall trust in it. So here we see the king of the north, the president of the United States, answering the ambassadors of the Palestinians, saying that this is God's land, it gave it to the, they, he gave it to the Jews, and they're here, and the king of the north is there to save Judah and protect Judah.